again, to pause it, that's another thing that I remember really wanting to do. And I even tried to bring the idea back with the current universe when we started that back in 2018. Just because I love the idea of alternating pay-per-views. I think that's really cool. And I wish WWE would have done that once they brought the brand split back in 2016 instead of having two pay-per-views a month. I just love that concept and you can really focus on long-term storytelling that way because you can tell so many amazing stories like that. It's like... One of the best examples actually is look at how dominant Brock Lesnar always is once he comes back. Think about how long he holds a world title when he gets one. And then look, think about how happy we all are once he drops the belt because someone just beat him and they get that big rub from beating Brock Lesnar for the world title. And now we get a new fresh face at whatever show it is. And it, it feels good. But then immediately after, if the fans turn on said person when they haven't even held the belt that long and they'll say like, oh, well, his reign was shit anyway. But in reality, his reign, like the person's reign could be actually really good if you really dig down and look at it. And like the dude was super protected and everything and they'll still say like the thing was sh like the reign was shit. He wasn't a deserving champion, whatever. When the moment that he won was good and his, he was protected and the reign actually was good, but because they want everything now and they want like a constant changing and like revolving door of champions, it doesn't work. And it sucks. And WWE is not the only... WWE is not the only like people that get blamed for it. Other companies do as well. They're, obviously, they're the biggest because they're just the biggest wrestling company in the world. Whether you like to admit that or not, they are. Um, and again, have they done a lot of bad things? Had a lot of terrible booking decisions? Yes, but you can't blame everything on their creative. Is their creative, for the most part, bad? Yes. But you can't blame everything on their creative when a lot of it... A lot of the problems also has to come down to the fans and them trying to listen to the fans at times, too. It's like when Kofi won the WWE Championship from Daniel Bryan at Mania 35. That was a great moment. Like, he had everyone behind him. And then you had, like, this subsection of fans who were, like, calling his reign shit and that he wasn't a deserving champion. It's like... You were literally just cheering him, like, less than a month ago, you fucking assholes. Jesus Christ. 